Thank you, everyone, and welcome to BlocksCon 2013. All right, thank you. So thank you, everyone. This is a unique confluence of about 1,000 people today who have one common purpose, and that is really just to get together a group of Robloxians who love to build anything. So a little bit on the state of Robloxia. Today, in any given month, we have about 3.3 million people playing on Roblox every month. So that's an amazing number of fellow Robloxians. We'll probably meet uh, about five or 600 of you here today. So for everyone who's here today, there's almost 100 of you out there around the world, uh, if not more. And um, that number is growing very quickly. Uh, when we did our first BloxCon, uh, we had about a million. So we are approaching three times that much. And you can see a little chart of the growth of your fellow Roblox players. Um, the other amazing thing about Roblox is the amount of time we spend creating and building and really exploring the creations of our other Robloxians, 50 million hours per month. So think about that. Uh, Roblox is really cool because we all build the creations. 50 million hours a month is over a million person weeks of work per month. So we don't have a lot of artists at Roblox. We are tool builders. The artists and the developers are really you. And we really have a virtual workforce that is bigger than any game in existence right now, creating the cool stuff we play on Roblox. Here's a little example of how much creative time is spent right now on Roblox. If you add up the total time spent playing with physical brick toys, that's Mega Blocks, Lego, Connects, all of those things, and if you compare them to the creative time spent with Roblox, Right now, people around the world are spending about one-ninth of the time of physical brick toys playing with Roblox. That's an amazing statistic. And it's really part of our vision of really the whole construction and creation aspects of physical construction going on to the computer. So we have one more BloxCon after this. We have a virtual BloxCon. If you have friends who couldn't make it, they're gonna be able to get online in a few weeks. And we're gonna do our best online to kind of have some of this fun community that we've got going on today. Okay, so how did Roblox get started? Um, I have always liked construction toys. And this uh, right up here is a picture of my very first construction toy. I got this when I was about, uh, before I was in kindergarten. Uh, this was actually made by a company that made Tupperware, if you can believe it. And um, I just got more and more into playing with these kind of things. And by the time I was older, I was not just doing construction toys, but I was building stuff, playing with engines and model rockets and cars and kites and all of those kind of things. And so that kind of inner passion to build things that you could play with kind of moved from the physical to the computer realm when I was about in high school when I got this first computer. Um, so who recognizes this computer? Okay, so this, this is in a museum right now. This is called an Apple II computer. Um, for those of you that are playing Roblox, you probably have about a thousand times the power that I had with this Apple II. It was all programmed in assembly language, not with Lua script or anything like that. And after spending weeks and weeks and weeks trying to create an interesting, you know, virtual simulated physics game, this is about what I would come up with. So this is a 2D lunar lander game. And you can see right now that a, a Roblox creator can build far superior experiences to this much more quickly. So I started building stuff like this, and then after I got out of college, uh, my passion for construction led me and a partner to start our first company. It was called Knowledge Revolution, and we made 2D building stuff, and we made it for f education. This product was called Interactive Physics. For those of you that play Angry Birds or play kind of 2D physics games, 
We were about 20 years ahead of our time. This was a physics lab on the computer. You could build things with pulleys and ropes and levers, and you could see how they worked. Uh, we weren't that um, gamer savvy at the time, so we built this for education. But lo and behold, we started to see a lot of people using this for fun rather than education. My partner was Eric Castle, and those of you that have read our blog know that earlier this year, Eric Castle actually passed on from cancer. I want to take a quick moment to thank the literally thousands of Robloxians that posted on the blog and sent his family emails. It was extremely helpful to his family, and everyone appreciates it very much. So what a great community. Thank you. Um, so Eric and I made this interactive physics thing. It won piles of awards, best educational software, all of that. But as I told you earlier, we started to see hundreds of users, thousands of users, not using it for education, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they were using it to blow up ragdoll hangman creations, you know? And create simulated cartoon violence, um, you know, the crazy kind of stuff I would have wanted to do uh, if I played with it. So after we started, um, sold that company and started thinking about what would we do next, the idea of Roblox came up. And this is the very first mock-up of Roblox. We were calling it Dynablox at the time, but you can see a lot of the same aspects of Roblox. You know, we wanted games, uh, we wanted models that you could play, we wanted ability to play in contests, a community. So a lot of these same aspects you see today were in our very first mock-up. We had a big vision in that, uh, unlike interactive physics, we wanted to do this in 3D. And in looking at all the games that are out there, pretty much everything in 3D right now is not functional. It's a mesh. It's something that doesn't really allow you to take it apart. Our vision for Roblox was and still is, when you search for a bulldozer, we want you to find hundreds of super high quality bulldozers. And we're not there yet, but that's where, we, where we're going. We want you to find bulldozers you can take apart, uh, where you can see the treads working, where you can see the motors inside. So this is where we're going. Very first version of Roblox was super simplistic. And when we started, we made the games ourselves, but very quickly, we made the jump that everything on Roblox needed to be created by the users. And it was one of the best decisions we ever made because our users very, very early on started making better stuff than we could ever make. And that was kind of the launching of Roblox. The very first weeks when we went live, we did not have 3.3 million people playing. We had five or 10 people playing. This is a literally a ground up thing we did not go out and buy traffic or do advertising. So we would sit around in our office, the four of us, and know we knew every single person on Roblox. You know, it's like, <laughs> imagine that, you know? And uh, you know, at three o'clock in the afternoon, someone would show up, we would say, hi. You know, you can see those numbers started growing rapidly, and that really translated into the 3.3 million. Uh, Roblox got better and better, and um, you know we're now moving to the point where we're here today, really to get your feedback on you know where do we go from here? What's our next visionary move? Um, let's take a look at what it's like to work at Roblox with a quick inside view of our office. So this is where you come in. This is a company meeting. We all hang out, do demos. This is our web room. You can see we have kind of a big open room format. There's Reese McBlocks. There's John, Telemon, and myself. That's my office. Thinking of some cool stuff to do. Um, we, most of the people at Roblox are engineers, but we do have HR, and there's Dylan, Adam, there's Deepak, all hanging out in our game room. Kevin, he's right here. He's gonna be showing you some cool physics demos in just a second. And uh, there's Isaiah, Toby right here as well, Vlad, there's Michael. Um, here's outside in our lobby. We're in downtown San Mateo in the middle of Silicon Valley. I'll talk to you about that group in just a sec. 
Um, Keith, Brad, who's over there right now, and Dylan hanging out. Another company meeting, check out our food. Uh, showing demos in a company meeting. Simon Kosloff in the back. He's the guy who works on our rendering engine. He did dynamic lighting. And uh, Phil, Alan, we're going to take another look into our web room. Uh, so we got about 65 people right now in Roblox Central. If you scan that, some designs. If you are ever in Silicon Valley on a Friday, please come and visit us because we have a tour every Friday at 3 o'clock where we let our users play with new stuff. Um, going back down to our web room, there's Isaiah. Um, there's John. This is one of our feedback sessions with the tour group. That you just saw is our Diag monitor, which we really, we watch those graphs all day. There's some Roblox food at lunch. Uh, getting ready for the show. We just got the posters in. Uh, Deepak talking with a tour group, getting feedback, which we do every week at Roblox Central. There's Isaiah showing how fast he can type. That was sped up, just so you know. Uh, a bunch of Roblox users, um, lobby of our main room, uh, graphics, working on some Roblox prepaid cards. You can find those at GameStop. Uh, another tour group, getting some feedback. Um, Toby and Isaiah, once again, web team. Uh, Tyler, he's one of the guys who works on Roblox Studio. Okay, Christina. Finally, tour group. So if you are ever in San Mateo, Silicon Valley on a Friday, ring us up. We would love to get your feedback. Thank you. That's our front door. Awesome. So I'm going to show you a slide that we put together right uh, along with that bulldozer slide. And this is still true today because all of these dimensions have a long way to go. Really want to create a platform where you don't have thousands or tens of thousands. You have millions of things to do and play with. Um, a lot of people want hundreds or thousands of people in the same game, definitely on our list. And the core vision of that bulldozer is everything in Roblox is physically simulated. So we want you to be able to build stuff you can take apart that works like it does in the real world. We've got a lot of cool building stuff coming. One of the big pushes we've got is besides Roblox Studio, making it easier and easier for everyone to build something on Roblox. You're going to see some hints of that, um, essentially giving our top developers the ability almost to make, you know, like building kits that are very focused in a certain area. We are making more and more moves to have our economy completely controlled by our users and our builders and our developers. You saw our paid apps, you saw our top grossing apps. The reason we're doing that is really, rather than us being kind of the engine, not just of creativity, but of the economy, we want our developers and builders like you to be that. And this is where we're going. Uh, we consider ourselves a digital toy, a toy that will span six through 60, and we want to be the best digital toy ever. Thank you very much for coming, and thank you so much for being Roblox builders. It's great to be with you guys. Thanks.